Hey guys, Nazi Cheese Grater here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how I styled my dirt wig. All right, so first things first, I had to part it since he does have a part in his hair, so I kind of trimmed the bangs up too. So I found the part in the bangs, which would be right about here, and then took a bobby pin. And I pin the bangs back. Nothing fancy. They kind of look like curtains right now. And then most wigs have a spot on the top where when you first get them, they stick up like this. So I just kind of went with that. So I just took a thin... You don't want a lot of hair in it. Or else it'll be hard to make it stand up. But you want enough to where it'll, it's not see-through, okay? So, what I did is I just took it, and I brushed it out a little bit. And then I laid down the rest of the hair next to it. And I just kind of did this. Just kind of held it there. I just... Gave it a good coat of hairspray. And you're gonna have to hold it there for a second so the hairspray will dry. And then you leave it there. So that's the main point. And so since this hair's part on the side, most of his hair goes this way. So you're gonna come to the back and you're just going to take a small chunk of hair like you did before a good thing to do is you go with how the wig is made see there's like a patch right there which I mean doesn't really matter because it's going to kind of be covered up anyway and more people are going to pay attention to your rat spikes than in the center of your wig because if they're paying attention to the weave in your wig then forget them because they're dumb and you do the same thing you did with the other one give it a good coat of hairspray especially at the ends and at the ends when it dries you just want to kind of twist it so it gives it more of a pointed effect and then when you're done, you can just kind of gently comb the ends if you want it to be more of like a realistic look. Which, I mean, it's your wig. You can decide what you want, but I'll show you how to do the other at the end. You just kind of get it, and you just kind of twist it a little bit. So there you got a little bit of the back. Here's what it looks like from the back. Side. There you go. And then... I just started working on this side, so it would be like, because you already got the feel for like moving it out like that, so in the back, you want to, crap, and your fingers will get really sticky from hairspray, and the wig will also get hairspray on it, so you just got to keep combing it out, it's not going to really hurt anything unless you comb the spikes. And then you just kind of, it's, you just choose how much hair you want to be in it. And you just kind of, it's not like working with me right now, but. Just comb it out how you want it again. And then. Another good coat of hairspray. And just twist the ends together so it'll stay like that. So this is what it looks like so far. And you can adjust it when it dries with more bobby pins. And you just swear you think the spikes would look the best on your wig. They can be anywhere. That's just how I style mine. 
and at the ends, if some of the hair is longer, like right here, some of the hair is longer than it should be, you can just snip it with scissors if you need to or anything. So when you get to right about here, they're not as spiked up, but they're spiked out. So they don't really come up as high, they just come out. So just take it how much you want, twist the ends, and then it just stays, okay? And you keep doing that for however many spikes you want. So you have to have some hair. You have to have some hair that goes against the part. Like so. And then what I did to make these curve up like this, is I took a bobby pin and I just kinda shoot. Just kinda held it there. He has like hair that comes over, well how I styled it, he had like hair that went over. So you're gonna undo this bobby pin and you're gonna undo this one and you just wanna like make sure you have a clear part. So you just take top layer and then what I did, take the top layer and I pinned it, twirled a little bit at the end so it's pointy, and I pinned it under here, under his little points, like this. So you got like a swoop over a swoop, and you just pin it down however you need it. And then you hairspray that in place. And all right, so I got the rest of the little spikes, mostly styled over here, which you can style them however you want, just like the rest of the wig. Now for the back. The back, it's fairly easy. Take the top layer, and you just take a little bit. And then you kind of, what I did is I pointed it, and then spray the top, and while it's wet, you can just branch it out, so it's kind of fluffy. So, do you see like the wig like kind of brushes out naturally? What I did is I just kind of took some down here, and just held it up there and you just kind of hold it up there and now you got how you want the back. You want it just kind of look like it's been fluffed. Just nice and gentle. And you can add more spikes back here if you want to. Like there's a few that could be added right here. But and then you can just hairspray the bangs so the part stays in it. So you just take it bobby pin it how you want it side swept bangs is what I use and you just there you go hope this tutorial helped you guys stay cool <laughs>